What's up, y'all? It's your fit dog, aka Christian Simone, and I'm back with your weekly dose of medicine. Come spend a day with me. Um, it is Friday. I have some things to do, not a lot of things to do. Sorry, the light is this way. I just decided to do an impromptu day in the life with me. Um, so right now I am on the way to Pilates. I'm gonna try Pilates, y'all. I've never done it before, um, but I know that it's a good like core workout. Um, so we're gonna see how this goes. I apologize if the lighting is bad. I'm recording on my phone today and um, my phone doesn't have the best quality when it comes to like my device, like my editing. So I hope this ends up turning out well, but anywho, it is 11.53. I am a couple minutes away from the place I'm gonna be doing Pilates at. Um, and it starts at 12, so I'm gonna be like five minutes early. I don't know if I need to be there earlier. Like I don't know how Pilates works, but we're just gonna try this. Um, yeah, I think, did I go the wrong way? I may have gone the wrong way. Mm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm in the right direction. Okay, cool. So yeah, I have Pilates today at 12, and then I have to go back home and do a couple of things around the house. I am um, vice president of SNMA. Um, SNMA is Student National Medical Association, and it's for anyone, but I think it's specifically geared towards minorities. Um, and so I have to do a couple of things for that today. And I also need to go by Target or somewhere so I can get a planner because everything is starting to become jumbled up in my life, and I need some organization and some structure, which I never thought I would need. Um, and then I'm gonna meet with some friends to do some studying because we have a test on Monday we have a midterm in cardiology so after that I'll probably grab some things to eat or whatever and I may um, just do some hanging out but I wanted to take y'all along with me um, since I just I don't know I'm trying something new trying some different things so maybe you'll enjoy it too so I may catch up with y'all after Pilates just to let y'all know how I felt about it um, I don't think I'll be able to like record in there um, and I don't really think I would want to because like I've never done it before so I kind of just want to see for myself but I'll let y'all know and I'll give y'all some feedback and hopefully it's, it's a good time we'll see okay so I just finished Pilates and I went to clean juice so yes I'm making real bougie right now I don't know what in the world is a problem because I do not <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to afford this lifestyle for too much longer but about to pray got the avocado toast from green juice clean juice it's so good it is so good and I also got the glow one so it's a nasty drink but I needed something to clean me out Even though I'll probably be not eating the best this evening. There are these birria tacos. That are so good. And I'm probably going to get. Um, but. I'm going to turn over a new leaf. Next week. And. Let me start about Pilates. So Pilates was really good. Um, it was really, really good. I think I am going to do the membership. Not the membership, but I'm going to get a... Well, I'm going to get a membership. Yeah, that's the word for it. Um, I'm going to do it once a week. I don't really get my lashes done, but I think I'm not going to get my lashes done. I'm going to pay for Pilates instead. Um, and I do like that it's like a form of active recovery, and it's also just a different type of workout. It was a good workout. Even though it was a beginner workout, it was really, really good. Working muscles that you didn't really even know you had. So I do think I want to do it. Um, I enjoyed it. It was only 30 minutes. Normal classes last 50 minutes. But it was really good. It just worked your core out. We did a, we did the um, reformer. And um, they have different classes. They suggest that you do four to five classes before you move up. I, mean, I, I was an athlete and I still work out and I have a good core. So, Although some of the workouts were like a little challenging 
I think I'll be able to move up faster. And I know they say that you need to like work, you know, know the terminology for things before you move up as well. It's not just about your physical um, abilities, but I learn pretty fast as well. So I think I'll be able to move up pretty quick. Um, but I don't want to like move up and do too much because Pilates is supposed to be like, you're supposed to really do things slow and really get your, get the feel for things. So I'm not going to like be too overzealous, but I don't think I need four classes to understand what's going on. Um, but yeah, back to my diet. My diet has not been the best. And it's because as a first year student, at least at my school, we work with cadavers, right? So I, I typically have a strong stomach and um, I can take things, but it's the smell. Ever since working with the cadavers, my diet has been all the way off because either I don't eat enough because like after working with the cadaver, I lose my appetite um, or, I, or I stop meal prepping as well because my appetite comes and goes. So I was just tired of wasting food because I wasn't eating anything. So I stopped meal prepping. So then it's like, okay, well, I don't really have the time to cook throughout the day or throughout the week. So I just pick stuff up. So I'm eating fast food. That's not good. Um, and certain foods I have to cut out of my diet because like yogurt, the smell smells like formaldehyde. I don't know if this has any correlation, but there's like a, there's like a vanilla aldehyde that's in like my Greek yogurt that I drink or that I eat. And I don't know if that smell, um, is, it, I don't know if the aldehyde is why you smell, like, why it smells like that. But I noticed, like, I was, it wasn't just me, because I was sitting in a room with some of my other classmates, and they were like, you know, I was like, I can't eat this yogurt anymore, because it smells like that formaldehyde and the cadaver. And they were like, I was going to say the same thing, like, it does smell like that. So, I had to cut the Greek yogurt out, and that's, like, a good form of protein for me. So, I don't know what I'm going to do, but this Sunday, I'm going to come up with, like, some things that I need to do to get myself back right because um i'm not eating right i'm not eating enough and at the end of the day i'm going to be with this cadaver until the end of foundation phase which is going to be like another 14 months another year at least so i'm gonna have to figure it out i'm getting more accustomed to the cadaver i think you know i wear two masks i put peppermint oil um in my mask but the smells depending on the people that we're dealing with the smells are so bad and it really doesn't lose my appetite. Um, it's just, it's, it's so bad. I, 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 that's something that has really changed my lifestyle. Cause then it's like, I don't work out cause I don't eat enough. If I try to work out, I feel weak cause I've not eaten enough. So it's kind of just like I'm getting by. So I'm trying to like get over that, work through it. Just associate myself. So we'll see. But well, I know y'all want to hear me rant. I'm going to head over to Target now. Find me a nice little planner. And then we're gonna head home. So I was kind of like nervous that since I started planning in December of 2022, there wouldn't be any left for me, but I found the perfect one. I think I'm gonna get this one. Okay, y'all, so I created my flyer. Let me show y'all what it looks like. This is what I created for SNMA, so it's um, just this thing that we um, have to um, do every year. It's called the Alcoffer Banquet, but basically we are celebrating diversity, equity, and inclusion, and we have like a speaker that comes. They haven't been doing it for a couple years because of COVID, but we have a speaker that comes, and um, it's about diversity. So, um, yeah, we have a speaker that comes, and then we have a banquet, we have a luncheon, so it lasts for a little bit of time, like the whole day. And then we also have um, a uh, an auction where um, I have to go and gather things from different organizations and businesses, and um, people will people will um, you know bid on the on the items, and then all the proceeds go to SNMA. So I have to create that. It's not until February, so I have some time, but um, this is my first executive position um besides athletics so i'm just trying to make sure i stay on top of everything and they need things like on time so that's my flyer um if i need to add any changes they'll let me know but yeah that's what we're doing so now i'm gonna take a shower and i'm going to meet some friends over on campus to study because i don't plan on studying all weekend 
you have a test on Monday, but I do not plan on studying all weekend. Um, I got through all the content yesterday, so all I have to do is review. So I just plan on reviewing some things and then um, getting out of there and being done by at least 6, 6.30. It is 3.20 right now, so I'm going to take a shower, find something to eat, and then I'll head over there. All right, y'all, so it's the end of the day. I have me a nice little setup here. Let me show you. I have some birria tacos. If you are from the Chapel Hill area, El Patron or Durham, El Patron. This is the Mexican spot. Got some birria tacos, um, some salsa and some queso. I also got a smoothie. This smoothie is a mango smoothie. I'm gonna add some crown to it because it tastes really, really, really good with that. I do not condone underage drinking. And I got some chips as well to go with it. I'm about to tear this up, okay? I already had a couple bites and it is so good. Also, it comes with rice. I didn't forget. I forgot to tell y'all. The beer tacos come with rice. Why is this dog? Look, he's under. He's in between my legs. Why is he in between my legs? Oh my gosh. Anywho, I'm ending this vlog because I'm eating, okay? I'm gonna make a little TikTok, little mukbang thing, but I'm eating, I am grubbing. I'm so excited to get up in this, okay? So I hope y'all enjoyed this little vlog. I didn't show myself studying. I did study for a couple hours with my friend um, in on campus. I studied from about like four to eight-ish. I may, I'm not gonna study. I, I had the idea that I was probably gonna study when I got back home. Nope, not doing it. I'm already gonna have this crown. I'm gonna have my good little beery tacos. My queso, I'm gonna watch some YouTube. That's gonna be it for me. I'm done for today, okay? That's it, period. So, I'll see y'all later. Hope y'all enjoyed this vlog, this little mini vlog, this little daily vlog. Um, honestly, cardio is not as bad as I thought it would be. People are saying that cardio is the worst block. If you can get through cardio, you can get through anything. I disagree. I think immunology was the worst block for me, but I also think it, might, it may have been worse because it was my first actual block and it was just I just wasn't used to the... Um, the information um but cardio is not bad at all I'm, I'm having a very good um life work balance and um i don't find any difficulty in understanding the information so if anyone cares don't necessarily believe the generalizations that people put out because it's not always true and it doesn't always apply to you so thanks for listening and thanks for um staying this far if you are still here and i'll see you in my next one Peace.